What's up you guys? So this is my 2019 guide to making money online. So honestly, we've reached the point where you, you no longer need to work at a corporate job, a nine to five job in order to make money. There are so many ways to make money online these days. And I'm definitely not the first person to say this. This trend has arisen in the last five, 10 years where people have started making tons and tons of money online. And I just wanted to go over some of the best ways that you can make money in 2019 with just your laptop. So just a little background about myself. Uh, my name is Charlie and I actually have an Amazon FBA business. I've been doing this for the last few years and it's really become one of my great side sources of income. My first month with Amazon, I made about $5. Basically, I was losing money for the first few months of my business. My next paycheck was maybe $50, after that $200, and it just slowly became bigger and bigger. Yeah! Nowadays, I make enough money through this online business where I could probably just retire and go to Southeast Asia and live a pretty good life. This has been a venture that I have been building on the side, so it hasn't even been that big of a time draw for me. I was just thinking like, hey, I see all these people making money online, so I can do it for myself also, and so can you. With any type of business, you cannot be successful right away it's highly, highly unlikely that you will turn a profit in the first month or even two or three months. So with online business, you have to be patient. If you're losing money for your first few months, look at the things where you're losing money on, whether it be ads, whether you're not getting enough sales or whatever, and work on that. Build those, fix those, and soon enough, you should be building a profit. So without further ado, Let's jump straight into the five things that I believe are the best ways to make money online in 2019. Number one is Amazon FBA, and I have the most experience with this because it's actually what I do. FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon, and what this means is that you are sourcing a product from overseas and you're actually shipping it directly to Amazon's warehouse where they store it for you and they fulfill orders for you. After the initial round of work where you have to find a product, get sourced, get uh, sample products and have it shipped over, you're not doing too much stuff. So it is pretty, pretty passive. Whenever a customer purchases your item on Amazon, Amazon's gonna do all the work for you. They're gonna ship it out for you and handle all the customer service. So yes, this is a very remote business and you can do it from wherever you want to be. Now with Amazon FBA, you're going to have to put a decent amount of money into your initial investment. This is because you have to buy in bulk, otherwise you're not gonna get the low cost per unit in order to make a profit. Myself, I started with about $1,500, and this was buying about 500 units of a pretty cheap product and then having it shipped here on a boat. So if you're unable to get sales, then you're gonna lose out on your initial investment but you know, the rewards are so high with this where I, I just really think that anyone, if you do the proper research and find a product that you think can sell, I think you know, you'll be able to find something that returns a profit within a few months. And there are various tools out there like Jungle Scout that can help you find products to analyze these uh, sales and see if it will make sense for you. I really do see Amazon FBA as a viable income source for at least the next five to 10 years. Oh, and by the way, this isn't like a completely detailed guide to these five ways of making money. This is an overview, so I want you guys to kind of just go through this video, see which one of these you like the most, uh, what skills do you have that fits most with one of these uh, ways of making money, and then leverage your skills and start focusing your time on researching this method and getting really, really good at it. Number two is affiliate marketing. And I'm really convinced that affiliate marketing is here to stay longer than the other methods that I'm going through. This means that if you start building your affiliate marketing business right now, you're gonna see tons and tons of money come through for the next 10, 20 years, I believe. Affiliate marketing is promoting other people's products, having them buy through a link that you provide them, and whenever they do make a purchase, you do get a cut of the sale. For example, there are VPNs, online real estate classes, uh, online courses that people are selling, virtual products especially since they don't really cost any money for further downloads. Uh, the referral rates on those are really high as much as 50%. 
So if you're referring a customer to someone's course and it costs $1,000, you can get as much as $500 per sale. Affiliate marketing is never gonna go away because people are always going to be paying other people to help them sell products. Having a profit is really the, the sole purpose of your business and the salespeople, or in our case, affiliate marketers, are a really integral part of bringing in revenue. In order to get into affiliate marketing, you're probably gonna need some type of audience. It can be YouTube, Instagram, a blog, anything where your content has an audience. So in order to build an audience, this takes a lot of time, a lot of time invested into making content that people are digesting, that people uh, look to. Number three is actually to start up a service-based online business. Now, I don't have too much experience with this because I've never done anything like it, but I do have friends that have become super successful in building their online businesses, traveling, and just working from their laptop. So by these service-based online businesses, I mean things like social media marketing agencies, SEO agencies, ad agencies, website building agencies, and more. So these types of businesses can be run from anywhere, but you have to have a really strong understanding of a particular field. For example, if you're starting a Facebook ad agency, you better be damn well sure that you can help other people return positive ROIs in their ad campaigns. With so many people starting their own businesses these days, there's so much demand for online services that can help them market their own companies. If you're able to create additional revenue for someone through your agency, through your online business, then people are gonna to come to you and they're going to pay for you to increase their revenue. The hardest part about starting a service-based online business is finding and retaining customers. The more customers or clients that you have, the more revenue you're gonna create and the more successful your company is going to be. Overall, I think that if you're really good at some specific niche uh, service, then having an online business can be really, really great. Number four is to build a course. And this seems to be the trend these days. Like starting an online service-based company, you have to be really knowledgeable at some certain thing. Now, the initial time investment for building an online course is huge. You're gonna have to spend tons and tons of hours researching um, and creating some specific agenda for you uh, to properly educate your clients. There's no guarantee that anyone's gonna buy your course, so you have to make it really good and then you have to market the crap out of it. Once you're done making a course and finishing with that huge in initial uh, investment of time, then it's pretty much a very passive business. Pretty much 100% of your profits are going straight to you because it is a digital product. You're, they're just downloading it or um, accessing it via a link. Some realistic course topics include real estate investing, Facebook marketing, making websites, um, anything where it's a pretty specific skill and people realize that, hey, if I learn this specific skill, I'm gonna get a huge return on my money by implementing it into my own business. One of the most popular websites for creating a course is teachable.com and it's a very professional way to deliver your course to your students. So yes, if you're really good at something and you want to create a course, I think now is the time to do it. Number five is using a service that is called Clarity. And Clarity is something that I've just recently uh, been introduced to. It is pretty much a consulting service for freelancers. If you're very knowledgeable on a specific subject, let's say for Amazon FBA, then you create a profile on Clarity and you list your areas of expertise and people can search um, and find you and book a call with you, basically a consulting call. Now, all these calls are charged by the minute, so I've seen people charging between like $1 to $10 per minute for their consulting advice. I think this is a fantastic opportunity for you to share your knowledge while making some money at the same time. And you can really do it from anywhere. There are so many ways to make money online, but you know I actually don't recommend most of them. If you look online for ways to make money, you'll see tons of websites where you're doing like small tasks, like doing surveys, uh, web surveys, like clicking on different links and stuff where you get paid a small amount of money per click or per survey or whatever. I don't recommend doing those because it's just not gonna be worth your time. You wanna build an online business that can sustain itself, where hopefully in the future, 
you don't need to put too much time into it and it continually runs by itself. Hopefully once you start getting big enough, you can start to hire other people and they can also provide their services under your company where you make a certain cut of each sale. One extremely important piece of advice I have for people is stray towards something that is a niche. So something that's very specific, that's not too broad. It's really hard to start an online business that is super general because people are more drawn to uh, businesses or services that are more specialized. Be laser focused in your business. So one of my favorite sayings is a 100 watt light bulb lights up a room, but a 100 watt laser can cut through metal. So I wish you guys all the best of luck in your online business ventures in 2019. Now's the time to do it. And I just see so many people out there that are wildly successful, working from their laptop, uh, living these really great lifestyles. So I just want everyone to know what is possible nowadays. Stay consistent now and reap the benefits later on. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy seeing the top businesses, in my opinion, that you can start in 2019. If you found this information helpful, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, I make lots of videos about personal finance and also entrepreneurship. All right, stay cool, stay classy, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time.